Today, I'm gonna to show you how I did that infinite loop video for Instagram or TikTok using masks in Premiere Pro. Now, these videos are a bit of fun and I was totally inspired by some of the other people that have uploaded to Instagram. I expect there's a ton of ways of doing this loop video, but this is how I did mine. Masks are one of the most used tools in video effects and editing. It's simple to use, you just cut around the object, add a bit of tracking, and you can change backgrounds or make cool transitions. Masking is a great tool to add to the editing arsenal. Now, if you need to do detailed masks, it's probably best to do that in After Effects rather than Premiere. Premiere Pro lets you dip your toe into VFX, but you just have more auto tracking options and features in After Effects that can make your life easier. So let's get into the first stage. Now set up your camera in a wardrobe and film yourself going through your different items of clothing, making sure that when you swipe over to the next shirt, you stay consistent with your movements and be careful not to knock that fixed camera angle. Now you can do this as many times as you want. You should have several different clips of yourself in different clothing. I think I've changed my clothes more times in that shoot than I have in the last six weeks. Anyway, we have our starting video clip and what we wanna do is find the point where we're just about to swipe to the next item of clothing at the end of that clip and then find the same point at the beginning of the next. Now after that, all we need to do now is tidy up the transition with the masking tool. Draw your mask all around the top clip here. And then what you'll need to do is key out the previous clip until it's completely out of shot. You can also add a little bit of feathering to the mask tool if you need it. Now repeat this process for each clip until you get to the last one. The next step is to make sure that the first and last clips are the same. I'm gonna do this by cross dissolving a black mat at the beginning and end of the video. Next up, we wanna get the videos ready for export for Instagram or TikTok. We wanna create a new sequence and adjust the frame size to 1080 by 1080 for Instagram, or 1080 by 1920 for TikTok or Instagram stories. Nest your clips. Copy and paste it into the new sequence. Then adjust the size and frame accordingly. Then export and post. Hope you found this trick helpful. Like, subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you around.